Why is the CPI data for today so important? That's because we are measuring in the inflation of July. And why is that important? That's because the CPI is the first hint of whether the Fed is going to continue to hike rate. Now, right now, if you take a look into the CME Fed Watch 2, the market is pricing in 87% where there is no rate hike. But we still have 41 days to FOMC meeting. And many things can change. And many things can change with more data to come. Tonight, CPI is going to be important because then traders are asking whether there will be continued inflation. But more important, we saw correction in NASDAQ, we saw correction in SPX last night. And whether this correction is going to continue will be what we are going to talk about today. Why it is so important that you need to take a look at this level here that I'm going to point out. And especially, we saw, for example, Apple, Nvidia, Microsoft being correcting downwards. Where is SPX right now? Yes, it is near to the 4,600 resistance level that I've drawn in here at this place here. And that's why price is correcting at the moment. But the nice thing is that trend is still up. We are still seeing a higher high, higher low. The trend is still up. Now, why is it that we should be very, very focused into this level here? Because at the 4,444 levels, yes, 4444. This level here is a very strong support of SPX. Now, this means that this level is a mic or a break level. That's why it makes today's CPI very important. If price is going to trade below after the CPI, then we're going to see SPX probably going down to the 4,300 level. But if not, if it's not going to break this 4444 4, 4 level, then SPX is probably going to go up. This CPI, you must watch. It's a definite must-watch piece of data. Now, let's talk about trading strategy. Of course, for us, um, we have already a sell position at the top. And right now, we are just waiting to see what happened. And, and I've actually closed my position. If you want to take part in this short-term price movement, yet at the same time, you don't want to give up your long-term investment because generally, as I said, right, the trend is still up, then you can consider some short-term selling instruments that means that short term you are taking a bit of a bearish stand all right so what am i going to do here tonight first i'm going to watch but if tomorrow price is going to break below this support level here then yes i'll be taking some short term positions until the 4300 level so that's the next support but if price is going to head up uh, then this will be a supported region here and then probably you might want to adopt some bullish stand. All right, now, if you want to have a look into the short-term instruments, then you can have a look into the SGX DLCs because that allow you to participate whether it's a long side or a short side. That means it allows you to buy or sell depending on your direction using a short-term leverage instrument. Mirai Asset Securities is one of the three issuers of DLCs in the Singapore Exchange. Here, I'm at the website. You can scroll down and select S&P 500 SPX as the contract that you want to do. And then choose the type, either a daily long or daily short. Daily long means that you are thinking in the future, price is likely going to move up. Or daily short means that in the future, price is likely going to move down. So we have here two contracts of the daily long, daily short. Define what you want, whether it's a daily long, daily short, and then you can actually trade that. You realize the contracts are relatively cheap. That means that they are not on the high side. This means that you can get into a SPX position without committing a lot of money because then they are relatively priced at a cheaper range. What will you do for tonight's CPI? If you like today's video, please remember to follow me in the Telegram channel because I'll be updating what I'm going to do for tonight's CPI. And I see you in my next video.